This is Louis L'Amour. I've been writing about the Sackett family for nearly 20 years. I've lived with them even longer. This is their story. It's been said when the good Lord banished Adam and Eve from paradise, they hiked over the Alleghenies and discovered another paradise. And they called it Tennessee. After that, the Chickasaw settled it, the Cherokee, and then the white man, men like Davy Crockett and Andy Jackson and a Welsh immigrant named Sackett. Thank you for consent. It was here Sackett raised his sons, Tell, Oren, and Tyrell. Pa Sackett liked his horses fast, his drinks hard, and his preachers hellfire hot and he raised his sons accordingly. You killed my brother, Jeb. Now I'm here to even it. Jeb had a gun long, Higgins. He made the first move. I don't care how it happened. It all comes down to... I'm a Higgins, and you're a Sackett. I ain't carrying a gun long. I know. Get back to the house. Get back to the house. Long! Yeah, you caught me by surprise, boy. How about a fire chance? I don't believe it. I'm going to bag me two sockets in one day. Take the chestnut. It's the ridingest horse we got. When you get west, you get somebody to write your more letter. I will, Ma. Remember what Mr. Sackett said? You always ride with the law. You never ride against it. You hear? Yes, I remember. Your best go.
Turn! Gun? Come on, Ma, I'll take you to the house. And then what? You're going to kill yourself another Higgin? It's what's left of them. Well, there's too many of them. Besides, the word is the prod's on you now that your brother's gone. I don't want our preacher reading over you, too. Let's go to the house. In the name of thy son, our Savior, Amen. God bless you, Brother Arthur, Sister Sarah, Brother Jimmy, dear sisters, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. God bless you, sister. You gotta follow your brother West. Ma, I just can't let it lie. You're gonna do what your ma says. The man that killed your woman is dead and buried. Your brother took care of him, so the way things stand now, everything is even. But you gotta ride. And you gotta ride now. Mind your mouth. <laughs> when you and your brother get settled out west, you could send for your mom. I've been down. Yes, ma'am.
Howdy. How y'all doing? Six and eights. Want to play a little poker? All right. I open for four bits. Mr. We're just forty dollar a month hard rock miners. No need to use those Mississippi River book card tricks on us. What are you saying? I'm saying you're a card shark. Just about the best damn bottom deal I've ever seen. I think you just called me a cheat. I figure it fits. I think you better withdraw that remark. Mr. You already made one mistake. I'll make it two. You better take it back. Can't. Well, I sure do pity the man that killed him. It was a fair fight. Bigelow pulled first. Sackett here caught him cheating us at cards. Well, Bigelow's kin may not see it that way. I'll see to it he gets buried decent. Oh, I wouldn't stay on that long, Sackett. Bigelow's brothers are due in sometime tonight from that big poker game in Marfa. Now, you either ride on out now or be ready to use that gun again. I got pay coming. By the way, that fella's horse is company property now. And the way I figure, saddling all five dollars. Yeah. I'm not one to look for trouble or wait on it. Just looking for a friendly game. I understand. Let's get down here and get paid. If you guys get shovels, let's get this guy buried, huh?
are some deck shy of Joker. What can I do for you? I'd like a job if one's to be had. Well, I don't know about the job, but I never turn a man away from the fire without food inside him. Climb on down. I'd sooner work for it. How are you on? You'll learn it. Taking on farmers, are we now? My outfit, Carney. Man's a guest at our fire. I'm Belden. This here's Cap Roundtree. Howdy. Name's Tyrell Sackett. Coming from Tennessee. Where are you bound? Rockies. I need a job. Ain't we had our fill of farmers, Mr. Belden? We had a little run-in with some farmers a couple of weeks back. Farmers and cattle don't mix. We lost a man. Killed by some damn sodbuster. Maybe now's our chance to get even. If you think you can kill this side, Buster, you just have at it. Carney, get back to work. And the rest of you, old boys. If you hire on with this outfit, you're gonna have to deal with me. Carney! You're gonna have to kill that man, boy. Uh, you look like a farmer, that's for damn sure. I'd say so. I'm part cougar. Yeah, I'd say so. This here's Tom Sunday, my ramrod. He's the fella does the hiring and the firing. I need a job. Ever punch cattle? No, but I can learn. Work in the saddle from sun up to dark, or night hog spook cattle. Have you ever worked all day with dust in your mouth? No, sir. You're hired. Well, like I said, he's the ramrod. I only own the cattle. Better eat up. Looks like you got yourself a job. Fill the cup, all the windy ways of men are but dust that rises up and lightly lays again. It's Tennyson. Ain't that pretty? I don't know what it means, but it sure did sound elegant. Quoting us some kind of words. Yeah, he's always quoting about ancient times, stories, Greek mostly. But he's as good with a gun as he is words. Well, educated like that. What's he doing ramrodding cows? Riding with a secret like a lot of other men heading west. You better head on back to the drag.
We're running out of water, and the cattle's drying up. So I want you to ride on up there, see if you can find some. What about Cap? He knows this country. Yeah, I know he does. I suppose you learn it. Come on. Hey, boy, you with that herd back yonder? Yeah. Well, coming through, y'all swept a lot of our cattle, fattened them on our grass. So we're cutting your herd. You claiming we're trespassing? That's what I'm claiming. I figured maybe 50 head might get us even. Funny. I was told this was open range. 50 head? I reckon not. You're down seven to one, and your friends are at least a half a mile back. You're gonna die, boy. And so are you. By the time I go down, I'll have blown a hole through you. Big hole. Thing you came along. I promised Ma I'd go careful. That ain't the feeling I got, Tyrell. Seven to one ain't likely odd. <laughs> What's all the shooting about? You seen some fellers ahead in the east like they were scalded. They come on me by surprise. On a 50 header, they're gonna stampede the herd. Herd cutters, huh? Yes, sir. We are gonna go at it till Orrin popped up. That was his rifle you heard. Orrin? Orrin Sackett, my brother. Hey, you looking for a job? Yes, sir. He got one. You have any other brothers running around that we don't know about? Well, maybe tell. He's the oldest. Uh. Hey, Orrin? You seen tell? No, sir. Don't know where he is, or even if he's still alive. Excuse me for staring, Pilgrim. It's been too long since I've seen a white man.
Coffee sure is tasty. Body sure gets lonely up here. You ain't trapping. Going gold hunting? Gold? Now, legend has it that Spaniards buried gold up there more than 300 years ago. Yeah. My pa used to say that gold and trouble usually come in pairs. Just as well. Gold's a hard vine. Many tried looking? Few. Most of them never coming back. How come? They say that the ghosts are guarding the gold, but I don't believe that. You don't? Them silly fools that go up in the mountains, get snowed in and starve to death. Or engines. Crow. Yeah, that's plenty. Sick. Well, the day we buried Mary Beth, I knew there was nothing left for me back in Tennessee. Her dead, no reason to stay on. You had a whole life laid out back there, Orrin. Folks stalking you up to run for sheriff. Wouldn't be long for your sights around being mayor or something. People know you back home, and they respect you. Your future's there, Orrin. Not here punching cows. Yep. Well, that future was to include a wife, kids, and a home. One doesn't mean much without the other. Besides, Ma was always afraid I'd have it out with those Higgins sooner or later. No one like it, not being back there alone. Yeah, we'll send for as soon as we can. Now we got us two sod busters to fertilize in the air. Sure, we'll be relieved when you boys go on back to the plow. You play the harp, mister? No. You keep pushing, you'll end up learning. <laughs> we'll see about that. Now get on up and ride drag, you blown. You been paying for war first day I hooked up. Don't suppose he's a Higgins, do you? <laughs> Come on, get up there. My pa used to say? What? What did he say? He used to say, the sorriest fella in the outfit was always the first one to the water. His pa was right. <laughs> you know, Orange a good man. Where did he inherit all that charm? My pa? He could talk a pump handle into believing it was a windmill. <laughs> Orange the same. Yeah. The men like him, that's for sure. Yeah, except Carney. He always keeps a prod in us. Well, why don't you let up until Abilene, at least, because when you two buck heads, one of you are going to get killed, and I need every man I've got, even Carney. Yes, sir.
and make some money then sell those brakes. West part of Kansas and Colorado. There's a lot of wild cattle in that area, not belonging to nobody. Just drifting around free. Where'd they come from? Most of them strayed from cattle drives, wagon trains. They just living wild in that brush and breeding like jackrabbits. Well, after you catch them, then what? Yeah, we sell them to ranchers, cattle buyers, seed for new stock, bulls in the she stuff both. They'd probably have to rope a hundred head of them to make it pay. Might take an outfit. Yeah. Well, Tom wants in. We hope you and Orrin do too. The four of us would be a plenty good enough outfit. Well, sounds good to me. Orrin will have to talk for himself. Well, you and Orrin talk on it, and then let me know. Town, you might get lucky. Yes, sir. Lucky is my middle name. <laughs> Tom, I wish you hadn't sent them old kids on ahead. Why? Might not be enough left to go around. In Abilene? <laughs> 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 Keep on running, Maverick. I'd stay off that porch. Yeller hair. Long time since I seen a yellow haired girl. Not yellow. Gold. Do me a favor, Tyrell. Take care of my horse. Hey, Orrin, we gotta be back with a herd for dark. Good day to you, miss. Realize I'm being bold as winter coming up on you like this, but uh, I just come off a long trail right into this dusty town and see a sight like you, Will. It's nice. It's real nice. See, first off, I thought I'd been touched by the sun. But uh, on closer look, it appears that it's you that's been touched by the sun, miss. Or rather, blessed by it. Gold hair and blue eyes, mercy on me. <laughs> See, I knew there was a smile in there someplace. My name's Orrin Sackett. What's yours? Laura. Laura Pritz. Young man, 
My daughter does not consort with hired hands. No, sir. Didn't think she did. Fact is, I'm no hired hand. Not for long, anyway. No offense, sir. It's just that such beauty deserves tribute. Ma'am. Perhaps some other time, Laura Pritz? Come on, Laura. Good day, sir. When do we head for the purgatory, Mr. Sunday? Suppose you call me Tom. I'm not uh, riding Ramrod right now. As soon as Mr. Bellin gets a fair price for his cattle, pays us off, and we'll pull out. That wild cattle hunting's got to be pretty hard work. You sure old Cap's up to it? Old Cap? <laughs> Don't let that gray hair fool you. You're going to make the three of us sweat just trying to keep up with him. Yeah. Cap knows the purgatory. There was a time when he was the only white man that was not afraid to ride in there. He traded with Arapaho, the Kiowa, Lived with the Cheyenne. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't say very much, but when he does, be sure you listen, because he makes sense. Gonna take a bath? Yeah, I've been working from the inside out. <laughs> 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 yeah, it looks like Mr. Belden's found a man who wants to pay top dollar for the cattle. Good. But he's the kind of a fella that won't see the ramrod. All right, let's go talk to him. Yeah. Here, you boys have a little of this who hit John. Uh, Abilene. Abilene. Well, you sure are all excited. Yep. Yellow-haired girl on the hotel porch? Yep. Tonight? Yep. Just like that, huh? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> been all this time. Sweet talking that yellow haired gal. Gold. Pure gold. I swear, you could talk a squirrel out of a walnut tree. You staying clear of Reed, Carney? Well, so far. Remember what Ma said about staying out of trouble? Yeah. I also recall what Pa said about women. <laughs> well, someday we're both going to wish we listened. Hey, you boys want to get paid off? You bet. Mr. Belden sold his cattle for a fair price. He's paying off down to Drover's Cottage in town. Woo! Come on. <laughs> Thank 
Pretty, ain't she? Of course, I know you don't take notice of such things, Tyrell. Now, don't you forget what Pa used to say. Only thing more fearful than being left afoot is a pretty gal. Donde son estas gentes? De Santa Fe, Nuevo Mexico. Andan lejos uh, de su casa. Eh, tan pronto el doctor examine a don Luis. Es muy importante que el doctor examine a don Luis. El viejo ha tenido... Uh, well, don Luis está enfermo, pero es un hombre muy orgulloso. El don, uh, importante. Muy importante. Es el último de los hacendados grandes. Buena suerte. Mucha Gracias, suerte a usted, señor. You just socializing, or was there a point to all that jamming? They're bound for Santa Fe. The old man, he has a rancher there. He has a lot of influence. He's here to see his uh, doctor. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of rough country between there and Santa Fe. And seeing as how we're heading in that direction, you think maybe we better throw in with him? You just read my mind. Ty, why don't you go talk to them and present our proposal? Oh, we can, I can just wait till tonight. You know, uh, let them get settled and all. Well, here, you hold my horse, man. Yeah. Here you go, Tyrell. You know where to find us. <laughs> Carlos Enrique, el americano. position to make. I figure he's a man I talk to. Juan, deja lo que pase. Go on. Sir, word is you're heading back to Santa Fe. Well, my partners and me, the four of us, we're headed west. Mighty tough country ahead, Indians and such. Um, if we could join up with your outfit, I'd give you four extra rifles in case of trouble. Well, at the same time, make a whole lot safer ride for us. Abuelito, si no quieres que ellos vengan con nosotros. I'm sorry. Don Luis says it will be impossible. But he didn't say anything. <clears throat> Good night. Man. There is a man here named Jonathan Pritz who has pledged to run me and my people out of Santa Fe. He claims that all the Anglos feel the same. And we... Perdón. <coughs> we, uh, we can trust no one. I'll change your mind. My name's Tyrell Sackett. Now, friends of me just come in with Sam Belden's herd. You can ask him about us if you're interested. If 
you're interested. Waiter, would you show my daughter to my table? for your health is not to return to Santa Fe, but stay here. Comprende? You are going back to Santa Fe, aren't you? Of course. Then uh, we will be there also. I understand what you feel. Santa Fe has been yours for a long time. It's difficult to let go. Santa Fe does not belong to me. It belongs to my people. When is not you, senor. Senorita Alvarado.
Looks like Carney's finally gotten brave enough. Looks like he means it. The trail's over. You can kill him now. Tyrell. Oren. Oh, this has been building up. Best get it done. I'll be all right. It's time for him, boy. Move for that gun and you'll die. In front of all these people. Sure as daylight. Now take a walk back to the saloon. Uh-uh. I can't. It's gone too far. Not when it comes to dying. Now turn around and walk. Sack it. Turn around, sack it. You damn farmer, draw! Unbuckle it. for the water trough. Real slow. Water. Drop it. far we travel, little brother. Trouble always seems to follow. You coming with us? 
like to think of. Slow. You better talk to him a little bit more there. Yes. I'm called Nevada. And I'm lonely too. No fun being alone. But I think I've got the cure. Uh, maybe next time, darling. I don't think he's quite ready for you yet. Yeah, positive <laughs> proof that youth's a blunder. Well, now, Tom, I thought you was looking for a rich widow that was looking to lose the lonesome. Yo, la señorita Lesquina. to talk to you. Don Luis? His granddaughter. This way, senor. My grandfather would like you and your friends to travel west with us. He says you are very brave and a good man. You could have killed that man today. It took greater courage not to. We are leaving at dawn. Watching you two look at each other the way you do, and you don't do nothing about it. I don't know. You're tongue-tied, and she's bound by convention. Mm -hmm. I'm a Tennessee drifter. Hill folk. And like you said, she's a lady. Daughter of a very important man. Well, I don't figure that's the way her uh, thinking is. I watch the way she looks at you when you ride out and how she uh, fidgets around to get back. The urge is there. Don't run away from it, Ty. Just don't.
Es todo el orden que le podemos dar. Muy bien. Bueno, ve si lo puedes acostar. Como usted diga, señorita. It is not because of you that they watch me so closely. What is the reason? Your grandfather. This is a dangerous country we're going through. And he worries about you. You're all he's got. I love my grandfather. Sometimes he pampers me like a child. I am a woman. You are that, ma'am. I have heard the vaqueros talk about the Indians. If they will not tell me the truth, maybe you will. Well, seems like you already know it, ma'am. Thank you. Are you going to Santa Fe? No, ma'am. We're going wild cow hunting along the purgatory. But maybe after we're through, we'll be going to Santa Fe. I hope so. Yes, sir. Mr. Tuthill. Mr. Tuthill, look at this. Hey, where'd you find this? Just quote me a price, mister, or I'll go elsewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Say, uh, tell you what I'll do. I'll give you three hundred dollars. Five hundred. <laughs> give him five hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, 
Dommage. Look at the lady in the pretty pink Start to get infected. Huh. You got off easy. That horse been rode pretty hard. Better be a good reason. Come before God. Now, Luis, there's some trouble in Santa Fe. Squatter's moving in to take over. Where it is, the fight's brewing. We must leave now. We'll leave the wagons to will slow us. The wagons can follow. The rest of one must ride now. Give me a horse. I will go with you. I can ride well as any man. 
Will you come with us? Oh, sorry, senor. We're headed for purgatory. Good luck. Buena suerte. Y que Dios lo bendiga. Gracias. Tom, are we going to get outfitted? First things first, Oren. See, first we're going to go in and have a few drinks, and then we'll get outfitted. Boys have still got some long green, Tom. Yeah. We'll cure them. Yeah. I heard Boyd kill two men for accusing him of cheating. You heard right. Fast with the best gun as he is, that Arkansas toothpick he carries. But I've seen it myself. He shaved off Will Boyd's mustache, and everybody is watching. Four whiskeys. He didn't use no water, no soap, no nothing. Just that knife. But I'm afraid that that there uh, Sackett fella ain't here to last of Will Boyd. What name did you say? Will Boyd. No, the other name. Sackett. Tell Sackett? Yeah, that's it. You know him? Some. Still in town? Well, any time he does anything, we hear about it. And I suppose it'll be the same when he leaves town. But we ain't heard about that yet. for our brother. Huh. Figured him dead till now. Still raw boned and ugly looking, ain't he? Pure meanness. Be down. Or that you. You bet. Ain't changed none at all. Still slower than wet gunpowder. Well, he's coming around. This has got to be Tyrell. Hello, Tell. Been a while. Near ten years. We're no more than that big. Now look at you. Tall. Standing straight. Man. Doing a good job of it, too. How's Ma? She's well, I'm waiting for us to settle and send for her. Yeah, I drink. You'd best have a good reason for not being dead. 
and not writing. Yeah. Been on the move since the war. And if you're not writing, you never learn. Lordy. <laughs> How'd you two ever end up here? Purgatory. <laughs> Boys told me if there's another sacket, I figured two was enough. You're welcome to hire on. We need a, another good hand. Old Cap there, he's getting kind of old. Ah, don't you go talking about old Cap. I can still bust brush with the best of them. Tell? Yeah, well, thanks. Yeah. Going back up into them mountains. Yeah, strike it rich. Yeah. 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 You know, it's too early to save it. Could be the strike of a lifetime. Boys are welcome to come along. All of us? No, I ain't greedy. Oh, now, that would kind of make you a little different than a lot of other people. Well, what about it? You recall what Paul used to say? Gold's risky business at best. Takes a long time to get it out. You get snowed in up there, Tell. More than possible. Well, reckon I'll stick with the cows. Anxious to make my stake and head for Santa Fe. Met somebody waiting. Tyrell. Somebody's waiting for me in Santa Fe, too. Must have been some trail you boys were on. Well, I've chased gold before. Yeah, I reckon I have too. Mm -hmm. But I never did kick the fever. You know, Tom, you might be right. I think I am getting a little too old to be chasing them wild cattle. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when one of them's going to hook you. The old horse steps in the hole and leaves you laying there with a busted leg. I know those mountains, Tell. You mind the company? Be leaving first light. I'll be ready. Good. Good. Tell her I'm safe and still breathing. coming back. I'll go somewhere and get me a squaw and find some comfort. <laughs> that won't be the first time. Good luck. Yeah, thank you. Don't be keeping all that savvy to yourself now, Tom. Spread it around a little bit. I'll try. Good luck. Keep your powder dry. That's it. <laughs> mm. 
Barkeep. Yeah? I shared a fire with a man down in Coyote Canyon last night. He told me a fellow made a big gold strike here. Said his name was Tell Sackett. That's right. Who are you? Ira Bigelow. What about Sackett? Well, he wasn't anxious to talk about it. Fact is, he was right testing. I'm not interested in the gold. Is this Sackett still around? No, he, he's gone. If you don't want him for gold, then what? He killed my brother a few weeks back in Texas. I aim to kill him. all three well and hope to send for you soon. Love. Warren. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Love well, Orange. Well, that's not bad. Room for improvement, but it, it's not bad. Yeah, the real challenge is when you're going to have to write to your uh, your ladies. Here, I'll show you something. I don't want to give it to you. Here's a looking book. Mm -hmm. What's it say? It's called Blackstone. It's about law and democracy. The whole should protect all its parts and that every part should pay obedience to the will of the whole. What's that mean? I believe it means the majority should rule, but it protects the rights of the individual at the same time. You know, the fastest way to start you boys to learn and to read is to start you right on that there. No, you read it. No, you do the best you can. You read that, yeah, and every night we'll, you know, we'll go over it together, all of us. Right? What are you doing with the law book? I was a lawyer once. Yeah. yeah a long time ago. Tom? What? Democracy. Mm hmm. Does that go out here? If you are outnumbered, the um, majority always rules. likely wanted. Mm. Even Rosie's on the run. Who's Rosie? Uh, come on, I'll show you. You know, there's been 10 men killed in here. Mm. At least twice up to the last count. But the best food you ever had. Come on, let's go see Rosie. Or they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our pathway. Cap Roundtree, is that you? <laughs> well, I don't believe it. You've been through to me? Sure enough. You know, I can't tell you how long it's been since you passed through here last. Oh. <laughs> Good to see you. Come here, let me look at you. Sit down. Well, let me just look at you. Uh, well, you on the run? Or are you looking for gold? Gold, Rosie. Uh, I'd like to find me some for cash in. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Meet my partner here, Tell Sackett. Pleasurable. My name's Rosie McGee, Tell Sackett. My pleasure, Mel. Don't pay him no never mind. He goes by the name of Kid Newton. He rode in here about three days ago. He keeps bragging about how good he is with those guns. He's real anxious to prove it. All he needs is an excuse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and what can I do for you? You got anything back there that resembles decent food? Yeah, two of the biggest steaks you ever laid your eyes on. Stop talking and go to cooking. <laughs> Still the same old cap. <laughs> do you ever see the light? And now, he's good looking, isn't he? Hey, Grandpa. You're too little old to be traipsing this high. Nights get mighty cold up here. And the air off and thin. Man like you getting long in the tooth should be searching himself out a warm corner. See, you're deaf, too. Hey, you well, could I worn out, old buzzard? You hear me now? Don't try riding over this man, boy. Them wrinkles are war maps. Fought Indians, grizzly, seen a hundred strutting peacocks like you get taken down hard. I don't know how you got so swolled up with yourself, boy. Aren't you beginning to bother us? What's the gun for? Armaments. Calling me a nuisance. Stand up. I said, stand. Do that. Then it forced me to take hold of that pistol. Then I'll have to kill you. And killing don't mix well with a man's supper. Don't cry him, son. 
You wouldn't be the first one he'd buried. You wouldn't even get a chance to clear leather on those hog legs. You better get some air. I said you better get some air. Stripped him of his pride, Dale. He sure won't be forgetting you. Better his pride than dying. <laughs> 